Shabby Fever with Arthur Shappy. Today, Fitton. Hi guys, it's Arthur here. Sorry it's a late one today, I got a bit distracted. You see, Mum's been watching the videos I've been making and uh, she said, since I seem to have so much time on my hands, maybe I can make myself useful. And she never thinks I can be useful, so I was really excited. Um, so what she wanted me to do was uh, help tidy up um, the junk that's lying around in the granny flat. So I had a go at it, but the thing is, it's actually quite a boring job. But then I remembered that uh, brilliant song um, from Mary Poppins, the one that goes something like, um, in every job you've got to do, find a bit of fun for you. Uh, so I tried that. I tried to make a game of it. And I, I definitely did make a game out of sorting the junk. I'm just not sure how much actual sorting the junk I did. But it's definitely a brilliant game. Have a look. I know. Basically, if that turns out to be the main thing I achieve when I'm in quarantine, I'm fine with it. So anyway, um, The Amazing Mysterious Tin, thank you for all your guesses. Uh, let me just recap you on the best clues. Uh, so it's man-made, and Granny might have used it, but not for ages and ages. And it's bigger than the tin that it's in. And Skip sounds like he's got one, but he probably doesn't. And it's wooden, and then not wooden, and then wooden again. And I couldn't imagine any of the crew using it, but then I thought harder, and I could imagine it, and it was brilliant. So, given all of those clues, it seems like two schools of thought have emerged. There are the people who think there's a skipping rope in this tin, and the people who think there's a yo-yo in this tin. And those are both great ideas. But what if there was another option? A third possibility, so brilliant that you haven't even considered it, staring you right in the face all this time. No, it's a skipping rope. So well done, Team Skipping Rope. You are brilliant. Well done, Team Yo-Yo. You are also brilliant. And well done to people who guessed loads of other stuff, including, for some reason, quite a lot of people who guessed Kazoo. I don't know what you're thinking, Kazoo, guys, but I love you. All right. Uh, that's the end of the tin game, and now, to play us out. Miss Marvel and I would like to play you a beautiful duet. 